If you want to be an anomaly, you have to act like one. Like people want all these special things to happen, but then they're acting like everybody else. It's just an incredible time, and I think the way people look at the world right now, because it's such an incredible time, is actually the quickest tell to who they are. If you think it sucks and it's bad, you have losing pessimistic DNA, and if you think it's awesome and phenomenal, you have optimistic winning DNA. My lack of interest in complaining is so high, uh, and when I watch what people complain about, it, it breaks my heart because they completely lack perspective. And I, I genuinely believe my happiness and optimism comes from my perspective. There's so many people that are talking sh- about how big of an entrepreneur they're gonna be and how much they're gonna achieve, and they don't work on weekends. You know, I worked every Saturday of my 20s. Like, and I talk to 20 year old entrepreneurs every single day. Lately, I've been saying to them, this Saturday, you're gonna have more time off than I've had in my entire 20s. So like, before you tell me how you're gonna be bigger than me, start thinking about what you're actually doing. Right. I think positivity and good is practical advice to building an empire, and I wanna be the poster child of the person that built the biggest, baddest empire and did it by being a good dude along the way. I plan to instill kindness into my kids. I plan on instilling perspective into my kids. I plan in instilling just being a good human being, right? Like, I don't need them to be an entrepreneur. I don't need them to make me proud. They don't need to go to Harvard. They don't need to do shit. They need to be themselves, all in, and they need to be kind, and I'm good. I don't judge myself. I'm fully in love with myself. But I'm also fully in love with everybody else, too. It goes both ways. Like, I tell people to buy into me, that work for me, it's because I buy into them first. I don't need anybody to gain trust with me. It's there. The reality is is that it's just never been better to be a human being. It's, that's just the truth, that's just data, that's, that's reality. And not everybody's gonna be happy about everything I did, but if it's 97% of people talking good behind your back, That's a real legacy. And I wanna do it in a pop culture way. I'm gonna do it anyway. People have done that before. Just so you know, there's plenty of people. Warren Buffett's a really good dude. Like there's plenty of people that have done that. There's a difference. I wanna do it and I wanna be a rock star, right? Like, and that's where you influence people. Like, you know, like I wanna do it, but I also wanna be the most popular. And so then that person's like, oh, I wanna be him. So I guess I'll be nice. Like I wanna literally take people who have DNA that's kind of nice and make them more nice because they think that's how I became big. So I basically wanna trick the business world into becoming kinder. I'm careful to not give advice that I know is uniquely something that I was gifted with. Like, how do I tell you that, oh, here's how it actually works and it almost started happening, it didn't happen. Like, I actually get goosebumps. Like, actually, like real heavy goosebumps when I hear something that I know feels right. What's the advice there? Hey, Johnny, start getting goosebumps. Like, there's certain things that I can't talk about because I know they're not practical. They're intuitive to me. There's a lot of uh, push towards being a workaholic and hard work is a learned behavior. I see it in my team. There's people that come into my, I've seen it in the thousands of employees I've had, which is the closer they are to the sun, the harder they work. And I'm like, "Uh aha. And so I definitely feel like I learned hard work by watching my parents. Um, And so it's why I talk so much about hustle. 